Hey guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, everything you need to know about the upcoming Season 3 update in COD Mobile. Guys, we got a lot of stuff today, bigger than ever. First, we'll talk about the Battle Pass because we got brand new rewards revealed yesterday, guys. We can also expect some changes to the Battle Pass format for the next season. We'll talk release date. Guys, big scoop is tomorrow. We got a big update tomorrow. We'll talk about it today. Brand new patch notes also to look at. Uh, upcoming changes, game modes, weapons, and possibly something big coming in the credit shop guys the credit stores we've been waiting for an update well we can expect something so let's look into it guys and before we start once again last chance to enter my season 3 battle pass giveaway you got like four days left the giveaway ends saturday guys january 18 at 3 30 p.m eastern time i will give away six battle pass on the youtube comments and two more on Twitter. Now all you have to do is subscribe to the channel right now and look for that video on my channel for all the details. Leave your info in the comments. I'll draw six random winners in the YouTube comments. Then check out my Twitter for two more chances to win. All you have to do is retweet that tweet. Good luck everyone. Now let's get into the news guys. We have so much stuff to talk about today and I want to start with the season three battle pass rewards. Because to me, that's the most exciting stuff. Every season, it's all about the season pass, right? Let's start with this screenshot, guys. It was posted on Reddit yesterday. It comes from the Indonesian Garena community. And it's going to confirm what we already knew. And it's good news. Phantom is on the season pass. We will be getting two different soldier skins this time. Now, premium pass, premium pass plus. You don't get more rewards. You get everything just by buying the cheapest season pass. Now, once again, here, the card points, 440 or 960, uh, usually is not the same currency depending on where we live. Uh, here in America, usually it's 800 card points for the cheap one and 2,000 for the premium pass plus. But yeah, what it does is you just get extra tiers faster and you're just going to get the rewards faster, but you don't get more rewards. So I don't see the point if you play a lot, uh, just buy the cheapest one. You're going to get everything anyways. So what we see at level one here, phantom skin and you have what looks like a dlq for like to me it looks like a dlq some guys say maybe it's a locust but i think it's a dlq a knife a trip mine skin and the next one is a lk24 skin another soldier skin and they give you cut points back once again on the previous seasons you kind of get all your cut points back so you can buy the next season if you if you did everything right now we can expect some changes to the season pass from what i've read we will have only 50 tiers this time instead of 100 and maybe the season could be shorter than eight weeks but we will see now i want to talk about the credit store update guys there are so many posts on reddit and on the discord about the credit store we need an update we need more items it's been like that kind of forever yeah they did add a few things but for the hardcore players, they already had these items. So yes, they added new stuff, but stuff we already have, especially the event stuff, the Airborne, the Molotov, uh, the Sparrow. Like if you play every day, you already have all these items. That was posted on the Garena Call of Duty Mobile Facebook. Some teasers for you guys going into season three, the future is now. That's the theme of the season. First teaser, ICR1 default skin. Trickster and more will be in the credit store and they say not the CP store the credit store Guys start saving your credits if you want a brand new ICR one It should be in the credit store very soon and the rumors are it's gonna cost 3,000 credits So you might want to save a little bit to be able to buy an ICR one now check out number two guys battle pass max rewards tier will be reduced to 50 now and not a hundred more value for the same price now, there's a big question mark here. I really don't understand why they do that. We're going to have to wait the start of the season because, I mean, why would they give you max rewards in a shorter amount of time? And then what? You're going to get more free crates? I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, maybe the tiers will be longer, maybe 400 points each instead of 200. But 
like I said, we'll have to wait. It's kind of weird. Now, last point is new addition to the BR map. I'm sure you guys heard about the rift already or the black hole super exciting special secret Easter egg event. So they call it the rift and it's not going to be opening for season three. So we can expect something new in the battle royale map, a flying or floating area. Uh, platforms or whatever you want to call it and apparently you'll be able to get there with the chopper or if you're using an airborne or someone in your team has airborne class or if you're dropping from the revive flight or the initial plane you can go there uh, with your parachute so we don't know much more about it but expect some changes to the battle royale map and it's pretty exciting of course if you guys play battle royale anything new is always good are we gonna have some secret easter egg for real or is it just rumors we'll have to wait a few more days guys but i'm excited for that one now last point is team deathmatch and domination scores will be increased for rank mode so i don't know about that one domination i thought it was big enough team deathmatch 40 plus maybe 250 i don't know but seriously i thought they were removing team deathmatch from rank so i don't know what's up all of a sudden but again, we'll have to wait. Not so excited for that one, guys, because people are already complaining about some game modes being too long. So the short modes, why make them longer, right? I don't know. We'll have to wait again, guys. But I don't think the last one is great news for the ranked multiplayer crowd. Now, when can we expect the update? Well, straight from the Activision Games blog, Season 3 of Call of Duty Mobile is live on January 15 at 4 p.m. PST. Guys, that is tomorrow. That's crazy. So we will have an update tomorrow. But guys, the season does not start tomorrow, okay? Season will be live on January 19, so that is Sunday. But we can still expect maybe the new multiplayer map to release this week. Scrapyard is coming to COD Mobile. It's from MW2. So that was teased already. Scrapyard was coming to COD Mobile and also the cage map. So two new multiplayer maps coming. On top of that, we can expect the new game modes, the 20 versus 20 in Battle Royale, but also the Ultra Rapid Fire in multiplayer. So definitely a lot of new stuff in the update before the start of the season. Now, one last thing I want to look at, guys, is the released patch notes from yesterday. So official patch notes. And the first thing they say about the rank mode, they say season three rankings will start after the update and will last from January 2020 to March 2020. So that is probably eight weeks again. But here what they say about the season pass is the battle pass season three will start from January 2020 to February 2020. So that is not adding up to eight weeks. Once again, it's already mid-January. So if we end at the end of February, it's only six weeks. So maybe that's the reason why they decided to cut from 100 tiers to 50 tiers. Maybe the battle pass season will be shorter. So once again, they say the battle pass tiers has been reduced to 50, but the value content remained the same. So we can't expect as many rewards, but the season could be shorter. So what that means is maybe at the end, you won't reach 150 like we used to. So is it really the same value if you get less crates down the road? I don't think so. Now, I'm not going to spend 10 minutes on the patch notes, guys. But again, rapid fire confirm, scrapyard and cage maps, the 20 versus 20 in battle royale, new vehicle, SMRS changes and stuff. Uh, we already saw that on previous videos, but if you guys want to go and read all the patch notes, you should go on Reddit. There's a post on that. I can link it in the description down below. So that's going to be it for now. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Are you excited for season three update tomorrow? Smash the like right now if you're hyped. And once again, don't forget to enter my season three battle pass giveaway. Just a few days left. It ends Saturday. So please subscribe to the channel and go post your info in the comments for a chance to win. So that's it for now. I'll be back super soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.